Hey guys, welcome to Fixing It, and today we're going to change the coolant on this 2010 Honda Pilot. Okay, the first thing we got to do is find a drain plug. And this is your radiator cap on top. But if you go straight down, all the way down here, there's a little door there. Little access door. And this thing, you just pry down on this and pull back. Okay. And it actually, you can let it swing down like that. Now your drain plug is right here, okay? Now, it's like a butterfly nut. You can't even get your hand in there. So I'll show you what I did to get that off. Okay, we're underneath the car. And this is what you have to get to, this thing. Now you can use pliers, use whatever you can get in here. I'm going to use an adjustable. And I'm just going to put it on there. I'm just tying it as much as I can and just turn it. Okay, it's not that tight. But as soon as you get that off loose, then you can get it off by hand. Okay. Okay, after you broke that loose, uh, you're gonna put a pan or something underneath. And you're gonna get your hand in here. And the coolant is gonna come out of this hole. So put your hand in there and just loosen up gotta turn it a few times there it goes oh. so you just want to go on top over here and uh, loosen up this radiator cap so it comes out quicker okay That's it, let that drain. Okay guys, I took off the wheel from the passenger side just to show you this step. You can probably skip it, but if you want to drain the coolant out of the block, this is what you got to do. This is the front of the engine, you have your pulley, you have your oil filter, your axle. Okay, so if you look up here on the side of the block, this is the drain for the block, okay? So you got to put a 12 millimeter on that, Loosen that up, and when it starts flowing out of that hole, he's gonna attach a hose to it, okay? So it doesn't get all over the place. And that's it. When you're done, tighten it back up, okay? Okay, so this is the coolant draining from the block. So let that drain, and we go on to the next step. Okay, the next thing you want to do is drain this reservoir. Okay, and this just lifts right up. And you just want to take this hose off. It's not that much in here, but just pull it. All right, and just drain whatever's in here. Okay guys, everything finished draining. We tying up the drain plug for the engine block. We tying up this uh, drain plug for the radiator and now we're gonna throw in some distilled water okay so it takes about two gallons or so so what we're gonna do is fill this up we're gonna turn on the car let it run and let it warm up so the um, thermostat opens and it gets into the uh, the heater core and everything, you're going to turn on the heat, let that all circulate in there. And then once you're done, 
You're gonna drain this again and then fill it up with coolant. Okay, we're gonna put the radiator cap back on. Start up the car. Okay guys, turn on the heat. Put it on high. You want this temperature to go up so the thermostat opens, okay? I'm just gonna go for a ride. I got a few things to do. Hey guys, I just uh, was taking this thing for a ride. Did a couple of errands. Um, that way you get the, the temperature up to operating range. And uh, I got the AC on now. I'll try to go back and forth um, from heat. Uh, to AC just to get the coolant into the uh, circulating around the heater core and That's it when we get back. We just kind of drain the water and add the coolant Hey guys, we're back from our ride and we're just draining draining all the water and leftover coolant that was in there Be careful because this is gonna be hot when you open up that valve uh, We're also gonna drain the uh, engine block again and then after everything's done, we're gonna tighten everything back up and then fill it up with coolant. This is the stuff coming out of the engine block again. Okay, this is the coolant I'm using. It is the blue stuff and it's made for Honda. It says it right there, 1990 and up Honda. And it's already pre-diluted, meaning you don't have to add water, okay? You just pour it in. So you're gonna need about two gallons of this stuff. Okay, so this is filled to the top. You're gonna put the cap back on. You're gonna put some coolant in the reservoir, okay? And just start it up, heat it back up, take it for a ride. When you come back, check the levels again and add in the reservoir if you have to, okay? And that's it. I hope this video helped you out. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.